So from the Starship Equinox quest to the Zombie Apocalypse quest, you've learned how to use Blogger, how to create blog posts using words, YouTube videos, and Creative Commons or, or um, public domain images. Remember to check and make sure they're not copyright. We can't publish those on our blogs, just like we can't copy and paste other people's words and publish them on our blogs. Uh, but there's another thing I need you to learn. Now that you're getting good and you're doing more amazing posts like your disease report, I want to focus on linking because I've got links here that don't look like a long URL HTTPS thing and then links here that look like a long URL, but what they have in common is they're all clickable. And some of you are making yours that they're not clickable. So I want to show you how to do it. And if you're putting links on your sources, your bibliography, you might as well use easybib.com and do it like I did so it looks awesome. But let's say you're doing a search for the measles. Now I know a lot of people, they get this nice little box with a little bit of information from a website. And they read that and they go, hey, I know it all. First of all, no. No, you don't. You've only read the beginning. It's just an intro. Second of all, don't ever just click on this and copy that and come put that here because some of you have been giving me this as your source. That is not your source. That is a Google search that anybody can do. And everybody does. So don't do that to us. Get rid of that. Undo. If you're gonna research, click on the link. And Wikipedia is a perfectly fine place to start. It gives you great information. And most of it is right. People think it's false because anybody can create it. But you know what? If somebody bothers to put it on Wikipedia and to list their sources like this, okay, they did a lot more work than you. Chances are they're right. And plus, Wikipedia gets checked. So it's a good place to start. But let's say you're like, I want to be sure. I'm going to go to the CDC or the Mayo Clinic. Yeah, click on it. All right. Then copy that link. And when you put the link like this, okay, it's not clickable. So what you want to do is highlight it and then go up to the paperclip. Now, it's a link here, right? So it made it the same that it is, meaning it's HTTPS colon slash slash WWCDC.com measles. But if you edit the link, um, this is where you get to choose. Oh, let me come back here. It's frustrating when I can't see the bottom. All right. So when I go to edit this link, uh, you want to choose advanced because you want to click open this link in new window. You can click this one too because then it makes it so that you don't leave a trace. But this allows people to click on your link and open it up in a new tab so they can just go right back to your blog post. So that's the first way to link. But there's a better way. It's the way I did it right here. All right, so what you want to do is if you're creating a link to the CDC website for measles. See, that looks nice and neat. It looks much neater than this. So here's what you do. Highlight the text. Click on the paper clip. Look at that. The text to display is words people can read, not HTTPS colon slash slash blah blah blah. Then you go down here, you paste the actual link, you click these two things, you go to apply, boom! That's much better, folks. So, three things you learned. How to make your links clickable. How to make links look neat, like actual readable text instead of URLs. And three, how to make sure you give us a link to websites and places you got your images from, not a Google search. So, fix your reports if they need fixing.